If I told you that 30 to 40 marks in FMG could come from something most students ignore, would you believe me? That something is image-based questions or IBQs. They're not just important, they're scoring, repetitive and predictable if you know how to handle them right. Hi future doctors, in this video I'm giving the exact strategy to approach image-based questions smartly whether you have practiced them before or not. This method will help you solve them faster with more confidence even in the final 10 days before the exam. IBQs are simply questions that give you an image. It could be a pathology slide, an ESG, an X-ray, a skin lesion, an instrument or even a graph from PSM. You will be asked to identify, diagnose or interpret what you see. FMG isn't testing your memory, it's testing your ability to connect visuals to concept. And if you can do that, you are already ahead of the curve. Here's why you can't afford to ignore IBQs. They form 15-20% to 20 of the paper, that's up to 30-40 to 40 marks. Many questions are repeated from the past exams. Once you've seen an image once, your brain can instantly recall it in the exam. So if you practice even 100 to 150 important images, that's potentially 25 to 30 marks already in your pocket. It's one of the best return on investment strategies in the final 10 days. Now let's talk about where image-based questions come from most frequently. Here's your IBQ priority list. Pathology, histology slides, inclusion bodies, RBC morphologies, microbiology, stains, culture media, eggs of parasites, pharmacology, adverse effect photos, instruments, pill types, radiology, fractures, CT scans, x-rays, very scoring, anatomy, bone cross sections, joints, foramina, PSM, graphs, vection vials, spectrum Pictorial statistics, dermatology, classic skin lesions, nail signs, papules, forensic, wounds, weapon, poison burns. If you are short on time, prioritize pathology, microbiology, radiology, and PSM. They contribute the most IBQs. Now here's the most important part: the image-based questions trick used by toppers to crack these questions quickly. Let's break it down. Step number one: Don't panic. Read the question title. Sometimes heading tells you about the subject or the system. For example, a 60-year-old diabetic patient with. By this statement itself, you can figure out that you're in microbiology or pathology. Simple, right? Step number two, zoom into the key clues of the image. Focus on color, shape, arrows, texture. What is the examiner highlighting? Look at the obvious. Step number three, correlate visually with what you have studied. Ask yourself, have I seen this in pharma or pathology? Your visual memory will often kick in if you have practiced similar questions. Step number four, eliminate one, two obviously wrong options. Even if you are unsure, remove poor choices. This increases your odds dramatically. Step number five, trust your gut. Most times your first instinct after training is the right one. Overthinking can cost you time and confidence. Now let's talk about what not to do. Ignoring IBQs until the last two or three days. Studying theory only and skipping visual practice. Overthinking simple images. Don't second guess when the answer feels obvious. Not reviewing repeat images. Some show up every year. Instead, prepare 80 to 100 common images thoroughly and revise them two or three times. That's more than enough for the most students to score 25 plus IBQ marks. Now let's build your image-based revision plan for the final 10 days. Day 1 to 5, pick two images heavy subjects daily. Practice 30 to 40 images. Revise wrong ones with brief notes. Day 6 to 9, do mock test IBQs. Go through a saved screenshots and PDFs, practice mixed IBQ quizzes available on apps like Telegram. Day 10. Revise your top 50 repeat images. Don't overdo it. Just jog your visual memory, rest your mind and sleep well. If you want this detailed PDF about image-based questions, just write PDF on the comment section and I'll send it to you personally. Image-based questions are not hard. They're not even unpredictable. They're just a different language, the language of images. And once you learn to speak it, you'll score more in less time.